Hello my loves, it's Kasha Plenary Star 101. So today we're going to be creating a few pages of currently in my different planners. As always, we're going to start with my catch-all, which is Deep Botanicals, and it is a classic size happy planner. So I am gonna start with a blank canvas as I usually do for this. So we're gonna go ahead and start with gluing down a page. And going from there. Okay, if this is your first time joining my channel, welcome. I hope you like it here. If you have been here before and you're coming back to spend more time with me, thank you, thank you so much. I love hanging out with all of you guys. So now that my page is kind of glued down, I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating it little by little so because it is March I'm going to decorate this page in um, the celebration for St. Patty's Day so lots of greens so bear with me um, and we'll go from there so I'm just gluing down my pages I'm gonna use this little zig glue to glue down the edges that didn't really work the way I wanted them. Okay, so Mojo Jojo green book, some Etsy images that I have printed, and I think that's going to be pretty much it. So I'm going to start with some of the, let me see if I have more of all of these. Hmm, interesting, okay. So I want to start with the eucalyptus leaves by the side against it. So I'm gonna go with the other images from Etsy that I created not too long ago um, into stickers. So we're gonna go ahead and move with those. It's very much farmhousey and super fun. So I am going to be including that so first i'm going to put this um floral design in the corner i think it's absolutely gorgeous and then i'm going to put this little bouquet type of thing I want to add more decorations, but I also know that I need to kind of place out my boxes and see how that's going to play out. So that's where I am right now. Okay, let's add a butterfly. I think that looks good. <sighs> what else? What else? Maybe some flowers on the top. Maybe I can add those. There's these like really beautiful creations with the flowers. So maybe I can do that. I'm going to write currently and then put the other flower on the other side. Yep, I think that's simple and good. Kind of crooked, but I'm working on it. Obviously, this is freehand, and this is kind of so. This is pretty much in real time. This is how fast it takes me to decorate my pages. As you can see, I'm not probably as meticulous as some of you, but sometimes I just put stickers down and I like it and I leave it and it works, you know. So now I'm going to get some boxes. I think I want the darker greens. So I'm going to place um, some boxes to put all the currently stuff for the month of March. So let's get these size boxes. As you can see, I put stuff on my um, hands all the time. It's a thing. It's very much a thing for me. I think I'm going to do nine boxes and kind of spread them evenly. That one's crooked. Um, so is this one. Oh my gosh. And see how it goes. 
Okay. So obviously I filled this out at the end of the month, but for the time being, I'm gonna go ahead and write out the things that I want to track. So I usually um, use my own stickers that I've printed, but this time I might actually write it in. So I was thinking about it and I think I just, I'm going to write it in. So we're gonna do feeling, listening, Reading and watching for sure. I kind of try to place them strategically so it makes sense for me when I'm filling this out. And I put celebrating right in the middle on the bottom row. Crafting. So we're going to do reading and watching. And then cooking, and we're going to do eating, and then, hmm, one more, I don't know, I don't know what to decide, because I normally track quite a few more of these, so I'm trying to kind of decide what to put, let me put those away, um, Let's see, the last one I think I should put as going. Okay, and I'm gonna darken up that currently. And this page is done. As you can see, it's super simple. I kept it super simple. I just go at the end of the month and I fill it in. And it's actually a lot of fun remembering what you did during that month when you're flipping back through your planners it's such a nice kind of like synopsis of what you did in a month i'm gonna add a few of these little green things they're beautiful i love how they look to me they look like green hydrangeas and i absolutely adore them so i'm gonna add a few throughout to kind of add the element of more green in here so one more and i think that looks pretty decent so i'm going to pop it back in and we can move on to my next one so um, my next one i actually don't decorate this page in uh, my meal planner so we're going to skip that and we're going to go straight into my um wellness journal the wellness journal is called Nature and Nurture. I do set my goals in here, so I think this is a good page to decorate. I do not change the structure of this page, so I do not add blank pages to it. I keep it as it goes, so I'm going to go ahead and use... I don't know what I'm going to use. I want to use florals in here at this spring. March is the beginning of the spring and I think it's so lovely. So I'm going to go ahead and try to see what flowers I can use. Maybe I can use this, which is the beautiful, beautifully lined from Love Love Posh. I am absolutely obsessed with that book. I think it's absolutely stunning. And it's good for so many seasons. It's probably one of my favorite books. These flowers are just beautiful and elegant and different and so fun to have in the planner. This is definitely a meeting. So I'm just going to add some flowers throughout. And on that one, that one I'm going to be calling it a day because like I said, I keep it super simple in here. I decorate just a little bit and then I just set goals because that's mainly what it's for for me okay so i'm gonna add that to the corner the holidays are sticking through the flowers but i don't really mind that i look at that page a couple times a month 
and then not at all so it's not such a big deal for me okay so let's keep going I'm gonna add a little bit more of like bright florals into here I think it's gonna liven up my spread look how pretty let me know um what you do for spring in your planner whether you're all florals or whether you do like color change or palette change like how do you signify spring in your planner because obviously for me winter all day every day i put flowers um any season including winter so there we go so I'm just going to finish this, pop it back in, and we can move on to the next currently page. So the next currently page is something I love so much because it is my journal. And that one I usually do a little bit different. So in the currently page for that one, I actually use one big box and I journal about the best thing that happened that month. This one. Um, I have an idea of what I want to do, but I think it's going to take quite a bit of time, so I might be fast forwarding that one a little. Um, like I said, super long process on this. So I'm going to be using eucalyptus leaves from Etsy that I have printed and used previously, but I'm just super obsessed with, in general, eucalyptus leaves. My phone cover is like clear with um eucalyptus on it so clearly there's some kind of obsession you guys clearly so that's what i'm gonna be doing so bear with me because like i said it's gonna be a little bit so let me fast forward through this and then i'll be right back Okay, so it's going to be a super quick process since I'm fast forwarding this, but in real life it took me quite a bit. I think it took like probably 15 to 20 minutes to make this page, but it was so worth it. It's probably my favorite. So here we go. I put this girl in green glasses um, with the with the shamrock uh, um kind of reflecting in there and I thought that was so cute and now I'm adding eucalyptus leaves all over her and all around and I am absolutely loving it and I'm obsessed so I'm just adding like eucalyptus throughout the whole page so bear with me like I said this is fast forwarded at like five times the speed that it would take so it should be much faster but anyway i'm kind of saturating the page with all of these eucalyptus leaves and not leaving a spot untouched i think it's so great and like i said i am kind of in love with this page very slightly so hope you guys like it too it's very different so that was the third currently page. This was in my journal. My journal is a classic size planner called Leffler. So we have one more to do. So the next one is going to be my social media, which I normally don't film, but I do film the currently and the monthly for you guys in case you want to get some more inspiration. So for the currently up here, I'm going to keep it pretty easy so as always I do like four videos that were the top of the month so I need four boxes and outside of that I have pretty free reign of whatever I want in here so here we go I'm gonna go ahead and add all of these if you guys want to see a flip through of that planner um, at the end of the month when I do my other ones, let me know. I can always include it. I have been including it, but it's kind of boring because I don't really do or go all out. It's one of those like smaller, 
spreads that I just throw some flowers on and call it a day. But if you guys are interested in seeing it, I'll be more than happy to share. So first, I'm going to use this lovely, lovely redhead girl, my little Irish queen, um, in the spread. And then obviously spread some boxes and stuff and add some beautiful surroundings to it. So here we go. I started with my top element and we'll go from there. So now I'm adding some of these uh, green farmhouse elements. So I'm going to add this beautiful green bouquet. I think it's gorgeous. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some boxes. Maybe we can use these lighter ones this time. So here we go. Yeah, maybe that can, let me see. It's a little crooked, so it's bugging me. So I'm gonna try to adjust it slightly. It's so hard to place stickers on a blank canvas because you don't have any guides. So eh, I'm doing my best, you guys. Okay, so that's what the stickers will be laid out like. It's all good. So we're, I'm going to put top for YouTube videos. And March. And then I will know what to put in here. Okay, well, not like I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and continue and add a few more things. So... I think I have some shamrock and let's see, not this little farmhouse for her. Like, let's just pretend that this is where she lives. I'm gonna make this whole little scene for her. I don't know, I'm just kind of playing around with this. But I do like it a lot. So I'm going to add some of these beautiful little green pieces into here. And I think it's going to look much better. Look how cute they are. They're adorable. Okay. What else should I add in here is the question of the century, I guess. Maybe I can add some of these green elements from here, like the green big flowers and stuff. I don't know. I kind of like this. Like this. I think it's good. So I'm just going to line it. Hmm, let's see. I'm just going to play a little bit with it and see how it looks. And go from there. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Those are all of my spreads. I'm just going to add a little bit of this and add one more flower. Here we go right there and then maybe right here so it's all like angled I think that looks pretty decent and again I normally don't really care what this planner looks like this is strictly my social media nobody peeks in here but I do like to give you guys ideas of what it could look like okay so social media journal wellness and catch all that's all i have for you guys thanks for joining and see you soon for another video bye